Can you think of any left wing commentators who are physically active in some kind of sport? No. Like and notably? to be honest with you, there's something else that I thought about. A lot of right wing commentators and, and people in the right leaning space, yourself included, uh, they have more than just the th the specific thing that they're doing so like you don't do just tim cast you've got the culture war you've got uh the the cast brew you've got all kinds of things you've got music the skateboarding a bunch of the different stuff jeremy from the quarter he's got multiple things that he does he has a regular job that's totally not in, not involved with the internet at all um there are tons of people on he's got the right. coffee yeah he's yeah. got he does like a marketing company too yeah he's a magic the gathering and gaming yeah. expert all the guys that are clearly the, all the people at the daily wire have multiple things that they have their their fingers in and stuff and if you look through most of the people that are right leaning, they have multiple things they do. You look at the guys on the left, that's all they do is just stream. Okay, but Hassan is, is, just streams, uh, Destiny, all he does is debate and stream. And you, you He's a gamer though. Well, uh, no, actually, shut up to Destiny. He actually used to play poker tournaments. He oh. he he was a top gamer. He played StarCraft. That's where it all began. Yeah, but he but doesn't he, do he just anything. left the left. He, yeah, well, sort of. He doesn't, he left the left, but he makes sure to be like, he's not like, I'm not on the right, though. I'm not, you know, I don't like those guys at all. So, yeah, which, give which, him a couple, give, he'll vote for Trump. So, yeah, what do you think the relationship is between like having multiple projects and conservatism? I think the people that get into streaming on the left fall into it. And I think the people that get into streaming on the right uh, do it and are also looking to do other things. They do it because they're looking to do things, like they're looking to work, this, blah, blah, blah. People that are, that get into streaming streaming on the left they fall into it they like they start streaming and it turns into something that have that turns into you know uh something successful for them but they're not like looking for the next opportunity you're not going to see people on the left that are streamers not saying that there aren't people on the left that do podcasts that do this but like there aren't you're not going to see people on the left that are youtubing streamers that are going to be writing books they're not writing columns. You're not going to see Matt Binder writing a column. You're not going to see these people writing books. Or they anything. just kind of stay in one only, lane. Yeah, because that all they're doing is this is what you know. They're they're telling their opinion, right? But people on the right are actually out here trying to create things, and I feel well, like that's something that is because of the attitudes among people that are conservative and and that are looking to I, do something in the in the in the business world and stuff. I, that, I just think there's a direct correlation between your cognitive capabilities and your political leaning. If you know, I, I'm thinking about like, how could I like in what scenario is Tim Pool going to be a leftist? It's not possible. Because even if you hold the opinions that like we should have socialist economics, you're still going to be like, after all of the research I've done, Joe Biden did, in fact, engage in a quid pro quo with with the president of Ukraine over the Burisma investigation that his son may have been caught up in. That's a fact. And that makes you right wing just just because you. Had, so if you were on the left right now and you're like, hey, guys, I'm reading the news and it does look like Joe Biden did this. They're like, you're conservative. 